fuck you, fool. I know, I know. I, I have a new camcorder. You know, I can still, you know, put videos uh, back on like that if I want to. But, you know, my camcorder is a disappointment. I don't like, don't get wrong. Get with me. Like I said, it has the long recording that I like, but the only problem is it's too dim, which is so dark. So, if you see me, me at the skin color, I'm not really th that dark. I'm I'm actually lighter than it, lighter than this. It's just this camera, you gotta be at a very, you gotta be at a situation where there's gotta be light involved to make this camera record you bright. Anyway, I want to talk to you something. This is very important. You people heard of Ryan Jenkins, right? Ryan Jenkins, Ryan Jenkins, is the, was a contestant that that competed. For Megan's heart on Megan was a millionaire. He was a millionaire. And, you know, like, only three episodes of Megan was a millionaire only uh, aired a few times. Only aired. Probably about three or four. I can't remember. But I know it aired, it aired around the, the middle of times. And after that, there I go to Sunday, schedule to Sunday, see if it's going to air it. I haven't heard of it since. Then my dad's friend told me that Megan, that they counseled Megan once a millionaire because Ryan, because one of Megan's contestants is responsible of his wife's murder. Ryan Jenkins was also on, on I Love Money 3. And not only he was on I Love Money 3, but he also won it. So why hasn't it been talked about? Why hasn't it been on television? I don't know. They're talking about redoing the I Love Money 3 all because of Ryan's I don't know where happiness. However, rest in peace to the wife he, he murdered, you know. I saw a picture of her, she was a beautiful spoke, she was a beautiful bikini model and everything. And Ryan, who you know, Ryan was being who was being on the lookout for murder, he he was found dead by hanging himself in the hotel room. After ever ever since VH1 heard about that, the show had to be canceled. I'm not sure if they knew it while they were while this was going on before the actual show was gonna be aired. But as soon as VH1 heard the big news, they was not gonna uh, keep uh, air no more. I uh, make it most millionaire, and they was not gonna air I Love Me Three. So they might have to do another I Love Me Three. And the cat that was on there might not might need to come back and might need to bring them back or something or so. One thing if Ryan was a millionaire, what are you doing on I Love Me Three if he's a millionaire? Okay, who cares? Everybody won't be on TV again. Some people are doing it because they want to get get some more fame, be on TV again. That's for why. But other than that, Ryan. But other than that, it's a shock. You know, I saw it on CNN, I saw it on YouTube, so I thought I'm gonna put that on record to. Let y'all people know. I know a lot of y'all heard it. Ain't no telling. I mean, I, I don't know if it's gonna be I Love Money Four, but it, they might do a remake of season three. I don't know, but it's crazy, man. Now it's the, it's just spreading. Now the crime is spreading. It's spreading up reality shows. What else could go wrong? This world can't get any more crazy, can it? But, but you know what? One thing you can do is live your life, be careful, and be careful of people, uh, the people who you're around. Cause you know when you, when you got when you see where reality stars making these mistakes, and celebrities doing that, man, you don't know what what's bound to happen next. You don't know what to expect. And oh uh, yeah, and beware the entertainers having his own show now. It's been off. Keep going off of VH1. So the entertainers looking for love. Uh, he should have thought about this a long time ago because this could actually give him money to move out of his parents' basement. So, entertainer, big ups to you, man. Uh, you know, I want to hear you say, I love moving out of my parents' house. That's what I want to hear you say. Anyway, I thought I'd drop you out the news let for the ones who haven't heard about it. This is Father 187 saying, peace out.